we're gonna have some creme fraiche here. And then I had some room temperature butter already set aside ready for us. Okay. And those are the two items I'm gonna start off with. First things first, this is gonna be about, for this amount of salmon, we're looking at about one cup of salmon. Uh, we're gonna use about two tablespoons of butter. Wow. And one tablespoon of creme fraiche. Now a little bit of salt and pepper as always. Goes a long way. And one of the key spice ingredients is gonna be smoked paprika. Mm. Then we're going to give that a good mix in here. Just kind of gently toss those things together. Okay, so now that we've got all of those things mixed up together, I'm going to add a little bit of green onion as one of the final touches. Mix this guy up really well. And then just like everything else, with that warm temperature butter in there and all that salmon yeah. fat, we're going to let this guy chill. Oh, you are uh, at least you. an hour overnight is always best because mm -hmm. you get those flavors to meld in nice together. The second component to the dish is gonna be our marinated tomatoes and cucumbers. Yum. Since I'm only making enough for about one or two people, uh -huh. I'm gonna start off with about a cup of diced That's cherry nice. heirloom tomatoes. Are those local tomatoes? They, they are the Camuela tomatoes, yeah. They look beautiful. And then uh, about the same amount of mm. cucumbers. And like everything else, we're gonna add a pinch of salt and pepper, champagne vinegar, and I'm only gonna use a little bit, maybe about a tea tablespoon or two. I prefer using for this a blend oil. So we're looking at a canola and olive oil blend. And I'm gonna sweeten this guy with agave nectar. Now you can use sugar, you can use honey. I'm gonna have a chiffonade of basil, a touch of parsley, and of course, shallots and garlic. Wow. And that, for the most part, is gonna complete this section of the dish. I'm gonna let this guy get well mixed. Oops, spray guy in there. And then we're going to let this marinate. You want this guy to sit chilled for at least an hour, hour and a half. Um, overnight is always excellent. The idea behind that is to get the acid to really kind of cook down the mm -hmm. burn of the shallots. Mm -hmm. You don't want that strong burn. So next we've got here is a stone ground whole grain ciabatta loaf, which I'm going to cut at a bias in just a nice little slices here. This has already been cooked off and toasted off earlier before you guys came, so it's nice and fresh. Oh, made fresh in half. <laughs> nice and neat. So with all of this put together, I'm gonna just top the roulette off with a little bit of creme fraiche. Mm. Some chives are always great to add on there. Um, just a touch there. A little bit of tobacco oh, eggs, tobacco, just yeah. for a splash of color. Great. And finally, the pea tendrils. Now, the pea tendrils are, mm -hmm. I think, are just an absolutely gorgeous mm. garnish alternative uh, option. I'm just going to put some in there. Really nice. Thank you. Oh, it's and beautiful. There you have it, folks. Oh, look Our at smoked that. salmon belly roulettes. Something simple, clean, and as far as a brunch alternative goes, I can't think of another dish that I would love to have for a brunch. Only one thing left to do, time to grind. Let's All do right? it. Let's go, Let's Chef. Let's try this. Wow. Mmm. Delicious. All the flavors, the brining and everything comes together mm -hmm. really well. You need to try this out. New on the brunch menu? New on the brunch menu. Well Sorry. done. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to whack that, but that's not going to be a pretty picture, so we'll do that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Chef. My pleasure. Thank you so much. You know, some things you learn a couple years on the job is one, you don't want to be seen taking really ugly bites on camera. I think I've taken more than those that I'd like to admit here. You, it's an art that you've really mastered, John. <laughs> oh, thanks. I was about to say, wow, you, you're giving that advice now? I've only been doing it like <laughs> six seasons on Sam Choi's, and for five years here on this show, it's like, oh my goodness. I, although <laughs> I do say the same thing. The two worst things you can do on air is sneeze and eat. Yes. Because <laughs> there's going to be an ugly face that's just waiting for a YouTube shot on that one. Exactly. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks. I'm a <laughs> meme. I'm going to become a meme instant. <laughs> All right. We're going to wrap it up.